Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Carlos Music, and I'm back with another tutorial. That's right, another tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be studying Bilal sometimes. That's right, that classic, funky, smooth song by none other than Bilal. Shouts out to Bilal, and I'll do my best to interpret these chords and progressions, and if it can help anybody with this song, then I'm all for it. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, we have another great, great song to study. So excited to share uh, uh, these voices and chords to what I think is going on in this song, right? Uh, now, look, we have the stylings of none other than James Poyser on this record. James Poyser is playing the keys, the fender, and the organs. Uh, James Poyser is one of the best organists, pianists, keyboardists, producer, writers out there. Shouts out to James Poison. I'm so honored to just be studying what I think you're playing. Shouts out to James Poison. Now, let me shut up because I will talk all day about James Poison. Nevertheless, we'll get right into it. Now, at the beginning, you'll notice that they're doing some arpeggiating, right? That's based on this chord here, right? So, uh, C minus 7 with a 9. C in the bass, E flat in the right hand, G, B flat, D, right? So you'll hear, uh, all right, just some of that going on. But when we get into the meat and potatoes of the intro, right, it's going to be doing this. Right? Right? So what that is, is... Our C minus seven, right? Once again, C in the bass, E flat in the right hand, G, B flat, D. Now you notice we're up there in the register, right? So, and with the C still in the bass, we're gonna come down to this uh, D flat major chord, right? Without this C, uh, we can call it a D flat major chord, a D flat major seven to be exact, right? Um, so it's D flat, F, A flat, C, right? So those are two chords, right? And then I, I latch on to some of the bass moves, right? So I hear the bass doing this, right? So this G, B flat, F, G, right? So that F is our F minor seven, with a nine, F in the bass, A flat right hand, C, E flat, G, right? So from the beginning. Right? So that bass move. F, G, A flat, G. Right? So of course that F minus seven with a nine come down to the G minor 7, right? So, G in the bass, F and G being held down with the thumb in the right hand, B flat, D, F. Right, so from the beginning of that. Right. Second time, and on the third time, it's just C. The bass. Do it the last time. Alright. We ain't getting out of that intro, right? So um, that run, so if we're doing this, we're gonna do this run here. Right, so what is gonna be in that bass? A flat, B flat, C, E flat, A flat. Right, so it starts with the A flat and it ends with the A flat, right? So we're gonna have this, uh, this chord here which is going to be our E flat major, uh, E flat, G, B flat. And I'm trilling from the F to the G, right? So, 
and then I'll come down and pick up the same note that the bass note is hitting B flat, C, E flat, and then we'll end off on this A flat major seven. A flat in the bass, E flat in the right hand, G, C. Right? So here we go. Starting with that A flat and ending with the A flat, right? And then we'll get into our verse. So let's go ahead and do that run and get into a little bit of the verse, right? Sometimes oh, I wish I wasn't me. Sometimes I wish I was drug free. Sometimes. I wish I found the truth without search Sometimes I wish I could Go where I never been See what I never saw Do what I never did Oh, walk before I could cross Sometimes My eyes wasn't so red sometimes I wish I had breakfast in bed sometimes Right? So that verse, right? Well, we're starting with, um, after we do our run We're gonna go to this C minor seven, right? C in the bass, B flat in the right hand, E flat, G, F seven with a nine, F in the bass, uh, A in the right hand, E flat, G, B flat minor seven, B flat in the bass, A flat in the right hand, D flat, F, E flat seven with a nine, E flat in the bass, G in the right hand, D flat. F. Now with those four chords, they're very easy to get to. So if you're in this C minus seven, right? Uh, all you're gonna do to get to that F seven with a nine is just move the C to the F in the bass, of course, and then move this B flat to an A, right? So it's an easy move. Keeping everything else the same, just changing the bass note and that thumb, that bottom note, right? to get to that F7 with a 9. Same with the B flat minus 7. If you're here, you're changing that B flat to an E flat in the bass, and you're changing this A flat to a G, right? So really easy move. Right, so. Right, and then that move. Right, so um, you'll also see me doing with this C minus 7 to this B7 in the right hand at least and still that F in the bass right so that B7 will be that A E flat F sharp so if you're in that C minor 7 you're going to be moving the top and bottom note down in the chord so this top note is going to go from a G to an F sharp and then of course the B flat to the A and then the bass note to an F right so easy move Right, same with the B uh, flat minor seven. Now this top note F is gonna go to an E flat and this bottom note A flat is gonna go to a G and of course the B flat to an E flat in the bass. Right, so easy move. So, right? And another thing you heard me do, right? One last little variation of this move, right? Is this hitting the C uh, minus seven with the nine up here, right? So what I'll do here, just like what we had in the beginning, C in the bass, of course, E flat in the right hand, G, B flat, D, right? So on this chord, all you're gonna move is this B flat down to the A, and then of course the C to the F, right? So, right? And then the same with that B flat minus seven. This is with the nine though, right? 
you're gonna move this A flat to the G, and of course the B flat and the bass to the E flat, right? So, right? So, you should be nicer than you are sometimes, right? Really easy moves right there. And then at the end, now he does it in a particular part in the song, but he's just he's just playing. You can tell he's playing live because he's not just hitting the loop. He's just throwing in all the little tasty licks just to make it so nice, right? Now what I ended off with, so I had to run. Right? Right? So uh, that chord is going to be our G7 with a sharp 9, right? So we have G in the bass, uh, F with the bass hand, uh, B in the right hand, D, B flat, right? So when I did that run, that G, F sharp, F, rise up. Now, of course, that, that's going to be our root. If you have a bass player, you really just have to do that right there. If you don't have a bass player, you're going to hit that right there. Nice little chord right there. That's what I hear him doing, right? So um, pretty much right there. come to a part in the song where it's just going to be a change, right? You ain't good to me, yes. I've been good to you. You don't see my intentions the way that I do sometimes. Hey, Slim, you should be nicer than you are. So that change is just an F7. Now we're coming to it with the chromatic move. This F sharp seven, F sharp in the bass, F sharp in the right hand, B flat, D flat, E, right? And just go down half step. The F7 is F in the bass, F in the right hand, A, C, E flat, right? same run right really funky <laughs> really funky right and then uh, we'll get back into the verse and the hook right and it'll go over and over again and at the end I know you'll hear this jazzy kind of feel come in on the drums but you're still keeping that same thing don't deviate right and at the end, it's going to end the song with a traditional church uh, uh, progression, a church ending, right? So what they're going to be doing, right? So this C minor 7, right? F7 with a 9, B flat minor 7, E flat 7 with a 9, right? And then we'll do this. A flat major 7, A flat in the bass, G in the right hand, C, E flat, G, G augmented 7. G in the bass, F in the right hand, B, E flat, F, F7, what we just did. That's going to be our B flat 7 with a 13. B flat in the bass, A flat in the right hand, D, G, hold that, change that G2 and F, and it's going to do this. So let's do that, that ending, right? Right? So like I said, that ended in A flat major 7, G augmented 7, F7, B flat 7 with 13, Last seven, and then this trill from the B 
B-flat to the C, B-flat, A-flat, G, E-flat, right? And then we'll do this. Right, so trilling from that B-flat to C, B-flat, F, F-sharp, G. And then it bring us back to this E-flat major, right? So once again, song people look i hope this helped you and if it helped you want you to like the video share the video comment on the video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell hey look it's carlos music and i'm out